Do you want to build a cafe racer? Have you already started your project? Or are you still looking for the right bike? Good. Whatever the case, this video will be perfect for you. I will not tell you, how your bike should be. Or what kind of choices you should make. But I will show you, a good path. If you have the ability, to see which are the most beautiful cafe racers in the world, then you must also be able, to design one. And today, you will learn how to get there. After all, it's Christmas. Welcome to Racer TV. So, for each task, forget who you are. Don't think as an amateur builder. Develop everything, as if you were a professional. Don't worry about your limitations. Because, time, will help you getting solutions. And the first step is, choosing. Choose your base motorcycle. Pick your favorite model, that one which you really love, and affordable to your budget. It's probably the easiest part, of the whole process. The second tip, inspirational examples. Select several of the best cafe racer projects. Try to pick some of the best you ever seen, but related with your favorite bike. I'm sure you have already several pictures, saved on your computer. Isn't it? This is also a very easy step. But the hardest part, is the third tip. The reverse engineering process. It's the process of extracting knowledge, or design information, from anything, and reproducing it. Your job is to discover, why those bikes are so beautiful. Study them. Examine. Compare them. Try to discover little details, that make all those bikes so special. The main intention, is not to copy anything. It's more about learning, and discovering those little subtle choices, that make some bikes look really amazing. I'm talking about small details, like slightly tilt the fuel tank. Or choosing the right tires. The perfect proportions, with the tastefully paint color. For a more retro look, choosing hub brakes, can also be an excellent option. But be aware, that some of these solutions, don't work on all bikes. Which is why I recommend, studying only projects based on your favorite motorcycle. This way, you will learn what really works. Use Photoshop if you can. It's a very useful tool, to make some experiments with your design. And the fourth step, the judgment process. 
This is also very important. Avoid judging your project with your own eyes. Try to see your design as someone else who's seeing it for the first time. Imagine your reaction, finding it parked on the street. Be honest with yourself. What would you think if you saw it for the first time? This is the best way to judge your work. Because eliminates the problem of the ego and pride. Which sometimes are the biggest obstacles to see the true beauty of your own work. And now the fifth and longest part of all. The evolution. It's the last part to conceive the final design. Let time help you seeing what is right or what is wrong. Don't be afraid to go back with initial ideas or even give up some. Because this will only mean that you are evolving. The things that today may seem beautiful to you, tomorrow may turn to be only normal. All these tips may seem insignificant, but in reality, they are very important. Just like on a good professional paint job, the most important thing is a good foundation. It's all about what you do before the final paint. And this is also applicable to a good cafe racer project. Take your time. A good and tasteful design can take months to achieve. Or even years. But you will enjoy all the process. And it will make you feel proud. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And not as always, I hope to see you next year. But until then, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.